Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. This time we're going to head to the gym. I think it's this way. Yeah, there it is. Gym. Gym, gym. Hey, come on. God, I have no idea. This Hope Speak Academy place is going to be such a pain in my balls. Oh god, Manda. It really ain't that much different from the time I was spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't and there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Uh, they're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take all the, um, those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. <sighs> all we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Shit. Well, hell. It ain't like I'm scared of, scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it! Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running! Well then. I too shall go. <coughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for more tutorial action. You can press this triangle button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people or objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. There we go. So let's head on in. To the gym. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, I told you, the totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Heroes, right. Wait and wait, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! The best characters! <laughs> Monokuma for Smash! Monokuma for Smash! Monokuma for Smash! Huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. You look like a teddy bear. I am... Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Life before my eyes it was. What I was seeing, it was completely incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all the anxiety I'd been carrying with me completely transformed into outright fear. See what? That teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey! I told Come you already. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And I'm your headmaster. See what? what? It moved. Oh, Seriously, man. Calm down. Probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you com compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep. Deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex. Even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me make stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Who do you think you are? Teddy from Persona 4. Well. Bear that, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No more shoot of the stupid bear puns. Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone will stand at attention and bow and good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Ah, now make no mistake, you few students so pretend you'll represent the hope of the world. And to present such splendid hope, ah! you'll live a complete communal life solely within the confines of this school. Everyone living in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date of this communal life. Too bad! There isn't one! Huh? No worries, you'll be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget. But you won't work for all the common conveniences. Hold on a That's second. That's the least of our worries right now. Mm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar of that. 
you can be 100% uh -huh. sure. And just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? Throw those metal plates all over the school. They have to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out, live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on! Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if school or whoever is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn yeah, you! Cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbeal. You can't see this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics all of you. What are you gonna but do? I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbour. Well, you have played to your fun to find out whether or what I say is true. And when that time comes, You'll see we are own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You've decided to not offer your own free will to pretend how it's the academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance opening is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... but you know, I guess I did mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> But really? Actually... I'm Headmaster. I've crafted a special clause for those of you who'd like to leave. I call it the Graduation Clause. Now then. now then, let me tell you about this little fun rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain our environment of harmony, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone will be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the Graduation Clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well... You know, if one person were to murder another. M murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It is as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill, a chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As so soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope to the world. But, you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... is... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We all know, we know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 Blink, blabbering. blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You stole my line. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah! And you can kill as much as you want. You want to kill. So go ahead. You want to kill, kill, kill and scream. All right, go on. Come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the heck out hell out of us. Oh my god, he said the actual hate word. Uh, get him out of this way. I mean, Spike. So, you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all kind of trick and all right. So, uh, like... <laughs> Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shove in here on the side. Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What kind of <laughs> kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What, you mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Fair few! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was like the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew up Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? 
no smile has come back this time. Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out! Get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her curiosity stunned him into silence or what. Without a word, he did what he was told. He threw him on Akuma. And as soon as he did it... The hell? What the? Th that sure was shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real life, i never seen anything like what? it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Huh? Uh, th there's another one? Damn you! you. You said you tried to kill me just now? Of course! Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school re regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't just get off with a little slap on the butt. This is bad. Uh, hey, so does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokunas have been placed all around the Sprout School. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras and sword everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I sure won't be forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Uh -huh. That's not even punishable, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, commemorate your joyous entry to, into school. I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e handbook. Mm. E Ahem. Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has many more uses than what? that, like saving the game. But that we haven't had the option to do up until now because the square button doesn't work. Also, it's completely waterproof. Wash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand any impact force up to 10, 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any regulation of the school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also respect, protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without love. We do live in a society, and I'm we do live in a society. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial. Oh my god, why did you skip that? Okay, well, that one brings our entrance army for a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see you! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you decide to define what we just experienced? How? Why? I, I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or k kill? What? what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. Fine. Let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, mm -hmm. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone. Right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? That is... <laughs> this is just... This, that is just... What is this? Ridiculous! A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. <laughs> right, now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words... Is there anyone here who is seriously... Seriously considering all of this? To this, no one had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at each other, trying to gorge each other's thoughts. I was in an almost, almost taste of hostility. That's when it hit me. I realized the true terror, terror hidden in the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words have planted vicious thoughts deep in, within each of us. Each of us have become suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that, was where, how, and that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of, no, out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope, it's 
A school of despair. Prologue. Welcome to despair. The end. The surviving students. 15. To be continued. Well, we've all seen this before. If you watch the Let's Play announcement back in July, but you know, the music's sick. We might get the video might get what? what I'll sit on that. I'm risking it again, like I did with my heart. Welcome to Trigger Happy Havoc. Dangan Ramba, Trigger Happy Havoc.